I'll be down if I take another L. Niggas say they real but shit I can't tell. I get that sack, bad brody make bill. I be doing shows, take over the hotels. But most of my shit only made for the real. The gang of guys who really did them drills. I popped the gun before I popped the pill. So fuck the hood, I'm trying to get in them hills. Ooh. Hold up. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, still keep my gun up. up. 600. I don't think you wanna run up. I be out here from the night to the sun up. Most niggas in my squad, they gunners. 600. Your squad, they runners. Say he falling, boy, don't fumble. She keep calling, but I don't stun her. Uh, then gunner. <laughs> <laughs> It's Lil Cheap Mo, man. Back with another video. Told the fuck in, yeah, man. If you been fucking with the kid, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and uh, a comment. If you if you new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. All that shit appreciated. What I'm gonna be uh, talking about right now? This video gonna be about Alec Capone. What really happened the night he got killed? What the evening he got killed? I'm gonna clear a lot of shit up, cause I I be seeing a lot of speculation shit going on about what motherfuckers think they. You feel me? Came up with in their head, or what? What? A, what a motherfucker they said to them, and they ran with it and believed them. I'm gonna clear all this shit up, bro. About the night LA got killed. It was September 26. They had court. It was LA, Ocho, and JB. Okay, now bye, y'all. LA, I don't know where he, I don't know where the fuck he got this stolo from, but he got a van. He got a stolo van. He went and picked up Ocho from Old Block. And he went to, he he picked up JB. After he picked up Ocho from Old Block, he he picked up JB off like 71st and Rose over there close to his off hood. <laughs> but yeah, after he picked up JB and Old Block, they riding around smoking on their way to school and they get pulled over by the police. Long story short, you feel me? They had to go to court for that shit. The day LA Dad, it was him, Ocho, and JB. Ocho did go to the studio. Ocho was supposed to go to the studio with them that night, but he didn't have no money to go. You see, he he didn't just want to be up there lingering and shit. Like, why they, why L.A. doing his shit? And you feel me? He didn't know if J.B. had money. He didn't know if J.B. was going to record. But Ocho was like, nah, I ain't going to go because I ain't got no money. And he kept saying, like, he just had that gut feeling like, you know, when you want to do something so bad and it, it like, sir, you know, shit just stop you. The day like, LA that we went in the stolen car that day, we had court. It was me, LA, and JB. And my mom and JB mama and shit. But we got caught in the stolen car previously, like probably like a couple months before and shit. And we was on our way to school. LA come... LA had like a green van on my mama. He pulled that bitch up in Parkway, come get me. I come hop in that bitch. It's me, JB. They had two, two thoughts in that bitch. On my mama, we smoking. On my mama. We on our way to school, getting high. LA driving that bitch with two feet. You hear me? I ain't never seen nobody <laughs> drive with two feet. Folks, the only person in the world folks drive with two feet. Oh, God. Well, yeah, the police got behind us and shit. Oh, God, bro. That stop you from doing what you want to do. You be like, damn, bro. Like, man. But then you look back and you be like, man, maybe maybe it's kind of good I didn't do that. It, it was kind of them. It was one of them moments for Ocho. And I was supposed to go to the studio with him. He had asked me if I wanted to go to the studio with him, but I ain't had no money. So I'm like, nah, you feel me? Y'all just do y'all, you feel me? Because I ain't just want to be around. I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to, you know, do. I was doing music too. So I wanted to go do my own thing, but I ain't had no music money at the time. Couldn't get no bread from OG shit. So I just took my ass to the crib. And then, folks had, um, yeah, folks had wound up getting killed that day, man. That shit was wild. And that was like folks second time like getting shot. In the and it was just so much shit we had did, you feel me? We didn't think life was going to change that fast, you feel me? Like, bro, life got different. Life got dark for me. We was just sitting next to each other at L.A., I mean, at, at J. Money funeral. And J. Money had wound up down, like, September 2nd. That's my birthday. That shit crazy. Damn. That's why I be telling you so much shit happened so in September. That day play up for y'all, like as far as that day when y'all was together. It was goofy. You know, we goofy as hell, silly as hell. We just chilling. We in the courtroom. We in the back. We just chilling. We mad. Fuck. We, we just. We used to always be playing, bro. Especially me. I play the most out of everybody. Feel me? L.A. I just laugh. All folks used to do is laugh. That's all I do too. J.B. too. We just tweaking. God, my mama like, damn, y'all laugh like a motherfucker. Why the fuck y'all keep laughing? Feel me? We probably went to go get something to eat. 
Afterwards, I swear to God, I was supposed to link up with them, but I'm like, man, I'm like, man, fuck it, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I ain't got no bread. Y'all just go ahead and do y'all. And I was crazy, man. That shit was wild. Yeah, man, I feel for folks for having to be there, man. I, I wish that shit would never happen, man. And, you know, I had seen you had put, put up like a snippet of shit, and JB was like, yeah, he wasn't supposed to, yeah, some, it wasn't, shit wasn't going right there. Yeah, they wasn't like, supposed to go anyway. Exactly, and it's so crazy, because, like, I wish a motherfucker didn't go, like, you feel me? Because I ain't even go, like, I was really trying to go. I'm trying everything, trying Forcing. to get some bread just yeah. to go, and, it, like, you know, when you try to force something so bad, it's just like, man, fuck it, you feel me? Yeah. I, I can't even go, y'all, I'm pissed, I'm already blue. Man, man, yeah, when that shit happen, I think you should do it. I so, Ocho go mind. home, JB and LA go to the studio. It was really like it was like this. And let me see let me say this. The cab driver that motherfuckers trying to say he had something to do with Ellie Capone murder, bro. He had nothing to do with that, bro. I'ma speak on that too. He had nothing. He didn't even know who the fuck LA Capone was, bro. The reason look, bro. Let me finish the LA story, but him and JB was at the studio recording and shit. And they leave, they'll buy y'all some ops that used to come to that studio, too. They be using the studio, too. In the studio, Ijadel, he told L.A., like, man, well, he told L.A. uncle, which is bleak. He told him, like, man, you feel me? Like, I just want your nephew. I don't really want your nephew. What's crazy about it? Me and this dude had an agreement, like, don't ever let my nephew come to this studio when somebody else here. Because it had already been some shit said prior. You mm -hmm. feel me? So it was like, okay, I called. Bam, he broke. Uh, Y'all probably ain't gonna wanna come here. I mean, he like you. I know you ain't gonna wanna come here. There's other people here. I'm gonna call you back like 9.30. LA geeking though to get to the studio. He like, man, I gotta I gotta get this song did. I gotta get this song did and um, send it send it to Dirk. My take gonna come out on the first. You know what I'm saying? This the 25th. You feel me? He trying to get his shit ready for the first. He was telling LA like, man, like I think you should chill for a minute or try to find a new studio. But LA was so... He was so anticipated and dedicated to, you feel me, like, doing this music shit, bro. He had a passion for this shit. Like, Lone Lit L.A., he one of the greatest from Chicago. He had a passion for this shit. So, he was like, he, you feel me, he overlooking the shit. He overlooking the signs because, like, weeks prior to him getting killed, bro, he kept calling the studio engineer. And the studio engineer was not picking up at all. Like, at all. L.A. kept blowing his phone up and shit. You feel me? Leaving on voicemails like, hey, bro, like, what's up with the studio and shit? Bro, still ain't answer, but on that day, on the 26th of September, he just answered like, yeah, come come through. It was the studio engineer, bro, because he, you feel me? He he the, he the one that know who L.A. Ops is, and if he didn't know, he wouldn't have told L.A. Uncle, like, man, I think you should tell your nephew to, like, lay low or just find another studio for the meantime. Like, why would you tell him? If you didn't have shit to do with that, why would you tell him that? So you knew it was a potential chance that these niggas was his ops. Or you knew that they was his ops, bro. That's how this shit go. He probably, like... I believe he tipped them niggas off. Like, man, if LA go cover up here, man, if y'all go get him, then you feel me? Like, but he gonna be up here at this time and this time, and he might leave at this time, so just be looking out. The cab driver had nothing to do with that, bro. This is what the cab driver got killed for. It okay. It it was Tay Six Hundred Lil Boo and some hoes at a Murder Town party. If y'all don't know what Murder Town is, it's a hood like town. OTF Timo from the and Curio, who motherfuckers be talking about. But yeah, it was a it was a fight over the because the song. It was a fight between some hoes because. I guess 600 didn't like the song. The hoes from 600 didn't like the song the hoes from Murder Town was playing. They got into a fight. Murder Town dudes jumped in. And then Lil Boo and Tay jumped in. That's when they got into a fight and shit. I guess Murder Town got down on their ass because was, it was just him and Lil Boo. They was the only niggas and they in Murder Town hood. Rondo and them not over there. See, they them not over there at the time. So... Get done fighting and shit as they like about to leave. They you feel me, motherfuckers get to letting off shots, so they run, take cover, and they get in their car and get up through. So I think Tay, I think Lil Boo had Tay to call Rondo, 
and tell them, like, man, like, these niggas just shot at us over here off 39th and Murder Town. So Rondo calls C Day and D Rose. That's when Lil Boo, Tay, and the hoes met up with Rondo and C Day and D Rose. And then they, you feel me, motherfuckers got into different cars and shit. And they was just looking for somebody to whack that night, bro. Like, the cab driver, he didn't have nothing to do with nothing. Like, no 600 beef, no nothing, bro. He was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Them niggas was high as fuck that night. See, they and Rondo them was high. They was off the shit. Hey, Jerome, can I get a new board? All y'all look fucked up. Hey, Jerome, can I get a new board? Smokey took a pan. You feel me? Just out there, just bloodthirsty, trying to catch anybody. And the reason why I think they killed him, actually, well, let me finish the story. They, okay. They in the, like, they, it's like a convoy that, like, it's like three cars trailing. They pull up over there close to Murder Town Hood, and they spot, and they spot a car sitting there, like, it's, it's on, they, and it's just sitting there close to the curb, so they, all, all three of the cars do a U-turn, park on the other side of the street, like, facing this way, Ron doing C, they hop out, and run to the passenger side of the cab door. Like, you from around here, what you claim, and he, like... And I guess he told him, like, he was from, he wasn't from Murder Town, but he lived in that area. I guess that's what he was trying to. They run to the passenger side of the cab, bro. Right, man, you was riding on C-Day. C-Day on the phone with Little Boo, like, trying to confirm. Like, like, bro, is this the nigga that shot at you? Like, you sure is this him, bro? Like, he trying to, call, he on the phone with Little Boo. Ron, if they run to the passenger side. Rondo up his gun, like, yeah, where you from? Like, you you from around here? And dude was telling him, like, he wasn't from Murder Town. He was telling him, like, he stayed in the area. He stayed around the area. And I guess, in a panic, Rondo shot him. Rondo shot him, like, seven times, bro. See, the C -Day, that's why C-Day dropped his phone in a panic. They ran, like, C-Day was on the phone trying to get the confirmation from Lil Boo. Like, you sure, like, this is one of the niggas, bro, that got down on you? He was trying to confirm with uh, confirm it with Lil Boo. Rondo upped his gun and shot him, like, for no reason. Niggas was just out there bloodthirsty. Feel me? See, they probably didn't know that shit was going to happen. Because see, they didn't have his gun draw. See, they didn't really shoot him. See, they was on his... That's why motherfuckers be like, see, they dropped his phone. See, they dropped his phone. Because he was on the phone with Lil Boo trying to get a confirmation. Like, bro... Is this the nigga that did now, shot Now, the at reason why I did these stories, which, to be honest, for better or for worse, got me a lot of hate. A lot of people don't like the fact that I actually cover violence going on in Chicago because, you know what? It's black-on-black -black violence, man. Police killing niggas. You need to go focus on that. C-Day in the murder of a cab driver. Now, because of this, people have always hit me up. Oh, academics, when is the nine by the get out? I can't wait till nine touchdown. He about to blow shit up. And I've always said, man, listen, listen, listen. I know you guys are fascinated with these guys based on what you hear on records, what other rappers say about them, their tweets. But you got to realize now we're into real life shit. The court system is not a fucking game. Okay, there's no timeline like, yo, free the guys. You can say free the guys all you want. It doesn't fucking matter because people are incarcerated for murder. The judge and, of course, the jury agree that uh, C-Day, a.k.a. Courtney Ely, was guilty of somehow participating in the death of this cab driver. It's not fun. It's not actually a cool story. There's nothing to make light about. And to be honest, man, and this is another reason why I've kind of even lost passion to do a lot of stories about Chirac. Smell it you want. Nah. Why is that? Get a good picture on this all. One of the buddies from the neighborhood. Then actually gets really dealt with in court. Okay? He was sentenced to 38 years in prison okay if you're thinking what does that mean think about 2054 and that's the time when you could expect courtney ely aka c day number 22 to be free and then the panic rondo up his gun and shot him bro and c day you feel me he he probably ain't expect that and he dropped his phone like damn like what the fuck and they got up through he probably ain't even know he dropped his phone he man that's probably so hot at night he probably 
ain't even realized. Like, damn, for real. But yeah, Rondo shot him. See, they, see they was on the phone with Lil Boo trying to get a confirmation, man. Cab driver had nothing to do with L.A. Capone death, bro. It was 99.9% .9 the studio engineer. The motherfucker who worked at the studio, you feel me? Because... He, you know, he 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 scheduled the hours for motherfuckers, so he know when motherfuckers coming in and coming out, so he can easily tip the outs off. Like, yeah, he coming in at this time, so and he leave at he supposed to be leaving at this time, so you feel me? It don't take a rocket scientist to know this shit, bro. Like, why why the fuck would a cab driver set up L.A. for? Like, that don't even sound right. No, hell, fucking. But long lit a cab driver, man. Long lit LA, man. My condolences go out to both families. Shout out JB. Shout out Ocho. Shout out everybody who fucking with me, man. This little Chief Mo, man. And there's not going to be no killing without killing, gentlemen. With all due respect, definitely not going to be any killing without killing, you know. And I would like that to be. Nice. That a motherfucker hey, got no circle. Y'all got that energy. Sneak this, man. That's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. We take a sit. Stay. Let it run up in the Jake's sit. When we reach the top, we can stop doing this basic shit. Cause I'd rather die for my niggas. I get crucified for my niggas. You would never see a one on one. Fuck boy.